audio settings. Hopefully it sounds a little bit better. It's not liking the way the audio was sounding at all, but you know, I don't want to call myself a perfectionist, but I'm picky. So <laughs> it's probably far more accurate. So anyway, um, today, uh, Dave isn't going to be joining us because he's got a bunch of, of other work to do. So uh, I just thought that we'd uh, work on some Clark technical studies uh, and we're going to play them a little bit slow. And if you're at home, uh, you can play them at half tempo if that makes it a lot easier. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play each of these four times. And um, if you want to do it at half speed, you can just do it at half speed and join in. Um, one of the really important thing is when you're practicing, have a metronome on and make sure you're with that metronome. And that's probably one of the most important things you can do to ensure that you actually sound good. So right now it says minimum tempo is 160, and that's do da dee da dee da dee something around that. And let's try it. Ready? And... You have to do it at half that speed? That's all right. You do the next one. Kind of keep everything trucking along that fast. Try to play as soft as you possibly can and still maintain a consistent tone quality in between the notes. That's what we're working on. No wop 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 wop. Keep it all. Do, 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 do. Ready? And. <laughs> might complain that this is boring but uh do it correctly and then you can say it's boring. really consistent tone quality like it's a long tone here we go three <laughs> It's kind of a, a good thing to just to remind yourself to keep everything moving relaxed, smoothly, and more of a mental relaxation exercise than it is a physical building muscles. And... <laughs> right now uh go ahead and say hello um in the chat try to keep track of everybody while i'm trying to practice it's not a really good idea but um if you're there and joining us uh you can join in in person right now because we are going live if you're watching it live um click the link in the uh description and you can join me here online it would be really good all right 
number eight. Ready? And this live go ahead and throw in the description if you think this tempo is a good tempo for you if you need to to do it slower i guess you can say that if you're you know just jumping in and watching it in person but out of time as well let's move right along actually we're going to skip over some of these and we're going to go straight to the etude uh, the main reason to practice for me that i actually do these chromatic scales is just to navigate that fourth valve again but um here we have the full ex the full etude. Let's see if I can do it in. Um, we we'll probably get it one time through. The question is, can I do it two times through? one 27 so these again very important to do these a lot of people practice these really fast but the important part is to try to play this with the same embouchure and just think of your tone being one consistent long tone while you're playing this if you're able to do that you're going to sound really good as a musician so that's what we should be focusing on all right, 28 next, and, and remember, we're not going dot dot dot, we're going like it's one note, right? And
Instead of actually just talking about what you need to do to work on. So much of the time, if while you're practicing, you're thinking about what you need to be changing, you're not really focusing. Um, two things that you really need is focus and depth. So I want you to focus on the sound. I want you to focus on really getting into the center of each of these notes. And I want you to, in order to focus on that, you actually, to focus on something, you need to be able to ignore everything around it. So ignore necessary, I mean, it's terrible saying this right now, but for right now, ignore if you're hitting the right notes. Um, granted, that's part of your tone, too. But I, I want you just to focus on the sound that you're making. Focus in depth on just that one thing and work on ignoring everything else that's going on in the world today. Ignore what you have to do after you're practicing. Just sit, calm yourself, focus, and get deep in on this exercise. I could tell you where to put your tongue or where to put your fingers to make it better, but that's not focusing. That's um, something to think about afterwards to improve. And generally, you need to actually like jump on Zoom, and then I'll, I'll hear you play, and then I can give you advice. But taking advice off of YouTube videos isn't the best way to practice. All right. What's the best way to practice? Practice. So practice with me if you're instead of uh, looking for secret tips because you know this deep down inside there aren't any secret tips. It's it's about getting really good at practicing and that's the biggest secret. All right, 37. A little bit of a chop break for anybody at home. Again, if it's too fast, play it at half tempo. One, two, three, ten. <laughs> I want you to think more of a the whole time. 39. Ready? And... me this especially like we'll take 41 as a prime example you got a lot of lip slurs mixed in with these and you're trying to slur how do you actually deal with that it goes back to kind of what we've been saying so many people think da, da, dee, ha. And you get this very big impulse that's because you're thinking technically about what you have to do instead of thinking musically so sing it no 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 Don't 
Don't look at the wrong one. Huh. All right, 44. Ready? And... There we go. It's moving right along here. Third study. I'm going to think of it the same way. If we were, I want you to think of this just like you're singing them. But I, I want you to, to, to focus on pitch. The pitch of what you're singing. So here's 46. Ready? Um. But the idea of it is play with so little sound and so little air that what you are doing is relaxed without tension and everything's efficient. So the idea isn't to see how long you can last. The idea is to see how efficient you can play. And that happens when you play a soccer you can to see how well it's working. Ready? Two, three. nice and relaxed and your thumb nice and relaxed believe it or not that'll keep the, the the notes from jumping around the more tension you have here the more it bounces your horn then it's hard to play anything well nice and relaxed two right <laughs> Contest isn't as far as you can go. The contest is trying to get more efficient, 
in the last one. Here we go, 52. Two, sorry. Here we go. Uh, 54. 54. That's what happens when you get oxygen. Here we go. 54. Two. Right. And. <laughs> Seventh, sixth, fifth position up on the, the uh, measures three and four on these exercises. If you're on trombone, you definitely should do them because you can get them in tune. If you're on euphonium, right now I want you to stick with the original fingering because it's not about the fingers, it's about the embouchure and sounding good. If you're playing out of tune, you don't sound good. So you need to make sure you're playing in tune as much as you can all the time or else you're just not sounding good. It's an objective error if you can't. 55. 2. Ready? And. <laughs> or it's an objective error if you miss the notes. All right, one more time. going to do it because I want to just make sure I'm fighting this tension. So I'm going to breathe more often. 
here's 57. Ready? And... Try to squeeze it out to the end, but that defeats the purpose of being relaxed. All right, let's just do two more. We'll end there at 59. Two, ready, ten. <laughs> of these so we can uh, get at least through studies, a bunch of these studies. So 66, study four is some of my favorites because really what you're doing is you're just working on finger trolls. And um, I always had a trouble with finger trolls because I always kind of try to do it as fast as I can, but you never really get any grace in between these notes. Um, <clears throat> it just doesn't sound pretty like if you're trilling on a, on a guitar string or even a mandolin or something like that with frets. It just feels really easy to do, and it sounds good. When you pop your fingers, it just has a really nice, even trill. That's what you need to be able to do here on um, on these. So, yes, you do have to align things, and you can play just as beautifully as any other instrument on these trills. You just have to do it. You have to expect that you can make it that good. Two, ready, ten. <laughs> slower because they're very long exercises. That's what makes them so wonderful. So, take it out. It's good to get the fingers moving again. Kind of what I've been missing from quarantine is sight reading really fast with friends. So we'll just have to settle with these parts. So again, move. The more you make this shoulder relaxed, the more, the better you're going to sound. And something else that's really important for you phoneme players, just shift left to right. If you lean too far to one side or the other, that's actually going to cause tension in your shoulders. So make sure you're sitting straight up and down and you're not leaning one way or the other or leaning forward and backwards. I, I use a yoga block to keep it at the right height. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
some of that tension and if anybody wants to let me know if my mic is sounding funny please please let me know so i'm not embarrassing myself too much all right here we go here we go 69 one two ready these and just keep everything nice smooth nice legato in time but not panicky in time just nice and relaxed is what we're going for one two ready <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's not really what's important. That's not what the audience listens for. The audience listens for how smooth and connected it is. When you're doing this exercise and you have to breathe, I would rather you sound good when you're taking a breath and skip out notes than what I kind of did. I kind of did both there. Sometimes I tried taking that breath and then it was a rushed breath. The breath wasn't very good. And then the tone wasn't good when it came back in. So make sure. I'm using me as an example because nobody wanted to join in and, and join me. Click, click, click the link and join me. <laughs> So you have to hear all of my mistakes and, and, and uh, talk about the mistakes. But it's okay because I make mistakes too. And uh, if you think professionals don't, they do. Keep working as hard as you as, as hard as you can because the best professionals don't have a, a point of arrival. They it's it's the uh, focus that they have to keep on going where they're going. Seventy three, here we go. One, two, I think this will be the last one for this exercise. We can actually move on to the last exercise for some more stuff. Here we go. 74. Two. All right. And. <laughs> All right. So I gotta 
I know it's bad to blast out some of those low notes, but uh, feels a lot better. All right, let's keep on going here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Keeps on going forever. Fifth study. Here we go. Take a look at what we're doing here. What we're pretty much, all that we're pretty much doing. So I'm trying to make the music a little bit bigger because it's getting fuzzy on me. Probably fuzzy for me. It's fuzzy for everybody else. All right. We're basically just working the major scale, except it's easier. Two. Ready? Um. try to make it a point to intentionally breathe every two bars just so I don't get into this place a little tension and air at the end. Um, thing I've been working on lately is um, kind of what kind of H I'm blowing when I'm playing. Hmm. 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 Kind of like that idea. And if I do that, for some reason, I just feels like I'm a little bit more connected into the tone instead of or something like that that just doesn't give a good sound. All right. I'm trying to find the right H. Ready? And as soon as they started breathing more often. And something else that I want to find is, you know, when you're on a descending pattern, like... Yeah. That's not a really good place to breathe because there's a lot of cadence there and you kind of want to breathe in a place where you're already you know, kind of moving. Like if the engine cuts out while you're going up the hill and it cuts, cuts back in, you're kind of okay. Or you're coming back down the hill. It kind of... It's a little bit better than uh, da da dee da <gasps> da 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 da. Isn't a really feasibly good place to, to kind of add that little catch breath. Eighty nine. One, two, ready. <laughs> track of where I was and I lost track of where what line I was on because it kind of got blurry. No excuse, no excuse. Here we go. 
two. Right, man. No excuses. No excuses. Was that an excuse? I'm telling myself. Shame on me. <laughs> Bad. All right. Let's look at the key. Some key of A flat. Not the key of G natural. Okay. Stretch it out. Got a little bit more time left. I'm debating whether we should try to move on to section six for kind of like the last ten minutes, but we'll do. Ready? And. All right. Get that sound going. I'm wondering if shaving might help. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving. What do we got? What do we have next? A bunch of scales for starters. Did I miss something? We've gone right over it. I guess right over here we've got a break for scales. All right, well, yeah, here we go. This is diff different. I don't think I've ever played these, so we'll play these kind of slow. Ready? And go. <laughs> fast, but you know what? Let's see what Thank you. 
like it is noon right now so um you know i don't want to end on a bad note so i'm going to do one more and kind of go over it a little bit hopefully everybody else will wait to have lunch uh until we get that you know uh play this one with me so we'll do it again one more time uh just so i can end on a on a, on a really solid a flat one two three ten whoa Thank you. 
All right, there we go. So everyone, practice, stay safe. Um, keep your chin up, keep playing. There's lots of music to write. There's lots of music to record. And uh, we're going to get through this soon. All right. Take care. Email me. Get in touch with me if you have any questions. And we've been doing this every single day, every single weekday since uh, March 6th. So if you're listening and you want to join in, please just follow the link or go to BrassBrunchBunch.com and join us there. There's a lot more information over there, too. So hopefully I'll see you all in person or at least on Zoom.